Right, okay, so this is the Ford F100 uh, 1956 that I came over 10 years ago and painted. And it was a bit of a protest job because he couldn't decide on a colour, so I said if you don't decide on a colour by tomorrow, I'm going to paint it pink. And as you can see, it's pretty pink. So, anyway, I did uh, all sorts of crazy kind of marbleising and stuff like that. And there's some candy and all sorts in there. But they did an amazing job of building all this lot. This is all actually three mil stainless steel. It's not the original. This is been made by us. So is the bumpers. Uh, it's got a V6 Cleveland in that I built. Where's it gone? If I can get in the bonnet, okay. Very tricky one-handed. Anyone who owns one of these will tell you where the fuck's it gone. There it is. So there's the motor that I built. I put all the fancy stuff on it, Edelbrook and all, and all the really nice stuff. And uh, most all this is custom made. We bought all this, but we custom made a lot of it. And uh, so yeah. And uh, it's on the original kind of leaf springs and axles. Uh, we made all the we made these running boards because they were just not long enough for the uh, the new bed. We made the bed. Uh, this is all ridiculously thick steel. We made and we put all the hidden catches in, all hidden inside, and then we made those also and made the bumper. Um, if we can look underneath, we made the fuel, stainless steel fuel tanks and it's on because you can see the original axle. The, the wheels ruin it because he really never, he never got round to getting a really good set. But regardless, this is it finished and uh, I made that dash and then we got some posh clocks and we made the centre console. Frog made it all, the centre console and the high battery mount had all the doors trimmed. We made these uh, and then uh, the Andai Zamorak purple, which I didn't like because it's supposed to be blue, but anyway, made all the pipes and, uh, and that's it. So this is basically the last time you'll see it like that because I'm about to strip it all down pull the suspension out, shorten the bed, fit this, this is all the Crown Vic, so this has come off an American police car, uh, like a 2006 American police car, so we'll get independent suspension, big disc brakes, four pots, maybe, yeah, four pots, uh, so it will ride like a rail car, rather than a truck, I mean, this thing's built in 1956 to haul ass, you know, haul big logs, rock, rocks whatever they found on the farms in the deep south i guess you know in america at least and uh yeah it's uh it looks pretty and we just did the show yesterday and there's a lot of admirers but it's done it's 10 years old and the both doors are rotting because they were they're rotting from the inside and so we've ordered new doors from the states uh and we're gonna drop it into the weeds put the crown vic suspension on shorten the bed and uh, fully repaint it and I'll keep you posted on that so there we go okay signing off if anyone uh, this a lot of this custom paint it was it's done by me at Fresh Creations Inc and if anyone wants to buy any of the colors and uh, crazy pigments that I have available uh, just hit me up with the comments and I'll give you a uh, my email address and you'll be able to purchase it from me I mean they do color change as you can see I mean like this one in the panel here it's green and then as you walk by it's kind of changed to brown and copper uh, and there's a rainbow 
in there somewhere. There's all sorts going on. But uh, yeah, I uh, I did it in a bit of a rush last uh, 10 years ago. It was 2013, so it'll be 10 years ago in about a month. Okay.